Hey guys, what's up? It's MikeZard123 here, and right now I'm going to be doing a review of Ultra Dragonoid. So, he is Pyrus, quite cool. One thing I really like about him, he is back in core, as you can see, steel brushed. I did not get him in stores, I ordered him. He's from like before they were released in stores. But anyways, um, one thing I really like about him is the only manual parts are his three horns, two of which are kind of like connected. So, yeah. Anyways, here, uh, just one sec, I'll grab a different gate card. Oh, wow, <laughs> that was pathetic. Um, here, fold his wings. Wow. Okay, um, so, to open him, he basically... You get the idea. He's 780G is mine, right there. Oh, sorry about that. My nose is a bit weird. Um, but as you can see, his feet, they are kind of like triangle shape and they pop out sideways. So they, they are spring-loaded. So are these side wings, which are yellow. It's kind of hard to tell the detailing, but basically for the most part, the body looks somewhat almost identical to the body of Neo other than the like extra wings and stuff so as you can see like they both have the diamond on the back both have the diamond here on their heads and the wing designs are kinda of the same and he has a bit more detail on this but Baku core is always hard to tell as you can see his face he has a green eyes the mouth his hands are pretty detailed um, here's a quick comparison with Max's Neo just one sec So the wings are pretty much identical, exact same size in like every possible way, like that, and yeah, they're pretty much identical, but as you can see, the Max Neil has some more detailing on his face and stuff like that. This I think is more of like a prototype like it is before they were released, so they could have more or less detail, I don't really know, and the other main difference is his feet. Because with the Maxis Neo, you have to pull them out, but they're automatic on Ultra. So, all in all, he's extremely cool. Um, again, it's hard to show you the detailing. It looks pretty cool from what I can see, but it's hard to tell with Baku Core. So to close them, you're going to take his feet, close them in like that. These side wings, which are spring-loaded, close them in. If it was a Typhoon, this would be the one that winds the gear. But seeing as it's not, you just close it. And then you're going to take the wings, which do have, like, the normal Pyrus copper accent kind of things in there. And fold them in. They will stay, the inside wing flaps. And click his head down, just like that. This is basically just kind of an overview of Ultra Dragonoid. So I would say if you find one, definitely pick it up. It's extremely cool. I like the very small amount of manual parts. Um, some people I know like manual parts, I don't. So, anyways, remember to comment, read 5 stars, subscribe, and thanks for watching. More videos, stuff on the way. As I said, I'm going shopping today, so hopefully I'll find something good. Anyways, thanks.